，曾经的从春流到秋，东流到西。Hello, this is Dr. Do again. Uh, this video is outside of medicine. Continue with the folk songs. I I presented one song here. It was um, a saying. Um, it was from the actually from the TV show of um, from the old famous uh, novel called the uh, the Dream of Red Chamber or the Legend of Stones. Um, Actually, in ancient time, there are four major masterpieces of novels. One of them was the Legend of Trination. The other one was the um, the Journey to the West, and there's another one is about the Legend of uh, Shui Hu. Uh, then this is the first one, uh, the fourth one, the Dream of Red Chamber. So this uh, um, I pre probably already already mentioned the Journey to the West, and also the uh. The legend of Trination. I mentioned them. In terms of the other one, the legend of Shui Hu, it's about uh, um, a hundred and eight men leaders rebelling to the central power, and they uh, uh, just somehow uh, got together, unite together with the forces. But their forces really not a formal military forces. They just have the people, civilian people, to equip and uh, to fight. The central to rebel the central governor, a uh, uh, central uh, uh, nations of the power, um, and uh, they grow. And because of this, a hundred of a hundred eight people, they have different background, they have different thought, they have different culture, they have different belief. So eventually, they broke, and um, um, they try to also in within this one hundred eight, they try to hold. Fight to hold the power. Eventually, fell into Song. Songjiang was used to be a, a official in a town, like um, like a mayor. And uh, but he led the, this one or eight people eventually surrender to the to the central government. All of them died. But anyway, so this is uh, about uh, uh, four famous masterpiece of the uh, novels from the ancient time. And today I just. Because I brought this song, the song basically singing two people refer to the two main character in this novel, Lin, uh, which was a girl, and Jia, which is the boy. They were um, uh, they fall in love, but because of the the political reason, the family, the whatever the reason is, and then they couldn't get married. So refer this to like the flower in the mirror or the moon in the water, which means even though they love each other, but they couldn't um, stay together. So this eventually the, the girl died and the boy become a monk, became a monk, and there's and he married another woman also because of political reason. So, so basically uh, the novel of this uh, dream of Red Chamber about the four major families around the Yangtze River, uh, southeast, um, in, and currently it's about the Nanjing uh, place. Uh, so this uh, four family, each of them holding the heavy, uh, rich, uh, holding the, the treasure of the country and so the power. Some of the family even has the concubine or the queen um, married emperor. So the novel starts as a, uh, from a monk uh, limping and singing the songs uh, showing the common people is not uh, uh, satisfied, uh, kind of holding grudge to these four powerful uh, families. And at the same time, the novel mentioned the uh, focus on writing these four families, focus on two or three, writing how rich they are, how powerful they are, and uh, uh, multiple layers of the uh, um, fight or conflicts either under the servant level they fight for a bag of rice and the middle level they f they fight for uh, emotions or um, or gain the powers like the the top servant and the higher level they uh, fought around they fight about the power in the palace and the emperor's court and also they um about the marriage try to marriage ma they marry each other so then um the network, 
between these four families very strong. So this is about the, this novel. It's very complicated. Uh, um, I think the one of the most um, complicated with many uh, figures, many people in this novel mentioned from the bottom of the bottom, a farmer, even though the serve in the in that four families, a remote farmer lady came to visit them because of the uh, relationship, and also mentioned the queen, uh, one of them, uh, one of the daughter married to the uh, emperor, and also this boy and this girl, they supposed to uh, get together. They um, love each other, but there's another lady. Their family is stronger than this uh, lady, so then uh, the family decided to let them to get married. Eventually, two of them broke heart. The girl died at the uh, boy's wedding day, and the boy learned that the the bride was not uh, he wanted. So he became a monk. And at the same time, the country undergoing a uh, political change, and the queen died. The, the queen which holds the family, uh, the power of the family. So eventually the four of those, these people, because the, the emperor changes, so they all falling uh, down um, with uh, a lot of um, stories. So eventually this is the, the uh, as predicted by this limping monk. So uh, the, at the beginning was a limping um, monk, at the end also this limping monk saying the seeing the sounds with kind of uh, strange um, and uh, a predict uh, or a prophecy probably. So this is about the, the dream of Red Chamber. Where, uh, the author was two authors. One was the first part was written by Cao, Xue Qin Cao. I think uh, a lot of people say that he was one of the people in this novel, the refers to the but it's not just him. He probably used him as a, the main uh, character and integrate a lot of stories he heard from his great grandparents and he saw around him. And uh, so when he wrote this novel, he already uh, in the uh, stage that the family, the four families fell already. So this is about uh, the the author. After this is another author called Gao. Yes. Yeah, so this is the. Um, so I'm going to stop here. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.